Welcome to Truth Discovery. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. For over 70 years, the B-52 Stratofortress has been a symbol of American power and a cornerstone of global security. Its presence alone can shift political calculations, reassuring allies and deterring adversaries. As a key part of the U.S. nuclear triad, the B-52's ability to deliver both conventional and nuclear weapons makes it indispensable. More than a weapon, it's a promise to allies that the U.S. stands ready to defend shared interests worldwide. From the Cold War to today, the Stratofortress has adapted to new threats and technologies remaining a reliable platform. Its massive wingspan and eight engines are instantly recognizable, projecting enduring American strength. Keeping the B-52 flying is a strategic necessity, not nostalgia. It can loiter for hours, provide close air support, or strike targets across the globe with unmatched flexibility. With a payload of up to 70,000 pounds, it ensures the Air Force can respond to crises anywhere. As new threats emerge, the B-52 remains vital for protecting American interests and maintaining peace. Now the B-52 is set for its most significant transformation yet, a massive modernization program to extend its service for decades. Investing billions in a 1950s design speaks to its enduring value and strategic importance. The story of its upgrade is one of innovation and foresight, ensuring this legendary aircraft remains ready for the future. The B-52's story began in the early Cold War, designed by Boeing to deliver nuclear weapons deep into enemy territory. Entering service in 1955, it quickly became an engineering marvel and a pillar of America's nuclear deterrent. Over decades, the B-52 adapted from nuclear deterrence to conventional warfare proving its worth in Vietnam, the Gulf War, Afghanistan, and against ISIS. Its airframe has outlasted many newer bombers, a testament to its robust design. Some B-52S in service today are over 60 years old flown by generations of pilots. This longevity is rare in military aviation where obsolescence is common. The B-52 has been updated with new avionics and weapons, but its core structure and engines remain largely unchanged, Designed with slide rules, it's now being prepared to serve until at least 2050. By retirement, it may have served nearly a century. An unprecedented feat, its legacy is one of adaptability and resilience. Now it faces its greatest challenge, a complete modernization to secure its future. The B-52's eight Pratt & Whitney TF-33 engines dating from the 1950s are now a major liability. They're inefficient, guzzle fuel and require constant costly maintenance. Spare parts are scarce, often scavenged from retired planes, making upkeep unsustainable. High fuel consumption limits range and increases operational costs, straining the Air Force budget. Reliability is declining with engines needing complete overhauls every 6,000 flight hours, the supply chain for parts is fragile, and the industrial base has largely vanished. Without new engines, the B-52's readiness could be compromised within the decade. The airframe is sound, but the engines are outdated. To keep the Stratofortress flying safely and effectively, a modern, efficient power plant is essential. This necessity led to the B-52 Commercial Engine Replacement Program, or SERP. The program aims to give the bomber a new heart, ensuring its role as a guardian of the skies for another generation. The B-52 Commercial Engine Replacement Program is set to replace the old TF-33 engines with modern Rolls-Royce F-130 engines. The F-130, already proven in business jets, promises greater reliability and efficiency. Fuel savings are projected at 30%, extending the B-52's range by up to 40%. This gives commanders more flexibility and makes the bomber less predictable to adversaries. The new engines are designed for on-wing maintenance, reducing downtime and costs. Boeing will integrate the engines, redesigning struts, nacelles, and updating electrical systems and cockpit controls. Once upgraded, the aircraft will be redesignated as the B-52J Rolls-Royce will build the engines in Indianapolis, supporting American jobs and industry. The F-130 passed its critical design review in December 2024, keeping engine development on track. The SERP is a monumental investment, preserving a vital capability for the 21st century. This upgrade is about more than engines, it's about ensuring the B-52 remains a formidable force. The modernization secures the bomber's future in the Air Force's arsenal. The B-52 modernization program has faced unexpected delays, especially in integrating new engines onto the old airframe. In early 2025, the Air Force announced a 10-month delay due to issues with the new engine inlets, requiring a complete redesign. 
This setback pushed the critical design review to April 2026 and delayed production decisions until 2028. The first operational B-52Js are now expected in 2033, three years later than planned. The entire fleet should be upgraded by 2036. The Government Accountability Office noted that early phases didn't fully use digital engineering tools, which could have caught problems sooner. Modifying a legacy aircraft design before computer-aided design is a massive challenge. Each delay means more reliance on aging, inefficient engines. The Air Force remains committed, with engineers working to resolve issues and keep the program on track. Overcoming these technical hurdles is critical for the B-52's continued mission. The modernization's success depends on bridging old designs with new technology. The stakes are high but the effort is essential for future readiness. The B-52's overhaul goes far beyond engines, it's a comprehensive, nose-to-tail modernization. The radar modernization program will replace the 1960s radar with a cutting-edge AESA system, vastly improving target tracking and resistance to jamming. This upgrade boosts situational awareness and effectiveness in any weather. Like the engine program, the radar upgrade has faced delays and cost overruns, now expected to take nine years. New electrical and hydraulic systems are being installed to support advanced engines and radar. The cockpit is getting full-color digital displays, reducing crew workload and improving decision-making. Boeing coordinates dozens of contractors to ensure all new systems work seamlessly together. The result? An aircraft that looks classic outside but is state-of-the-art inside. The B-52J will bridge past and future, combining proven design with 21 St. Century technology. This transformation ensures the bomber remains relevant for decades. Keeping the B-52 flying until 2050 has major strategic and economic impacts. The Air Force will retire the B-1 and B-2, leaving a bomber fleet of the new B-21 Raider and the modernized B-52J. The B-21 will penetrate defended airspace while the B-52J serves as a heavy payload workhorse, carrying hypersonic and nuclear cruise missiles. The $9 billion engine upgrade boosts the U.S. defense industry, supporting thousands of jobs nationwide. However, delays and overruns strain the defense budget and force tough choices. Supporters say modernizing the B-52 is cost-effective, leveraging a proven platform. Critics question investing in a 70-year-old design instead of next-gen tech. Ultimately, the B-52's continued service is about deterrence and stability. Its presence projects American resolve and helps prevent conflict. The B-52J's upgrades make it a more efficient, effective tool for global security. Military leaders, officials and experts are watching the B-52 upgrade closely, recognizing both its promise and challenges. General Thomas Boussier warns that delays could force the Air Force to buy more B-21S to fill capability gaps. Rolls-Royce met its engine milestones, but integration with the old airframe remains complex. Cost overruns and schedule slips, especially with the radar, have drawn scrutiny from oversight bodies. Former acquisition official Darlene Costello suggested narrowing the radar upgrade scope to deliver core capability faster. These voices highlight the high stakes. The B-52J is essential but the path is fraught with technical and financial risks. Industry partners face pressure to deliver, while government officials must balance urgency with fiscal responsibility. The consensus failure isn't an option, but success requires expert management and constant vigilance. The B-52 modernization is a high-reward, high-risk endeavor. Its outcome will shape the future of American air power. Transforming the B-52H into the B-52J is more than a technical upgrade. It's a statement about endurance and adaptation. This program bridges the industrial might of the past with the digital precision of today. The B-52J will be a fully modernized weapon system, ready for new threats. Its extended range, efficiency and reliability make it a sustainable tool for national security. Flying alongside the B-21 Raider, it forms the backbone of future long-range strike strategy. Despite delays, the commitment to modernization is unwavering. These upgrades will save billions and provide safer, more capable platforms for air crews. The B-52 story is one of timeless design and strategic value. As the first B-52J takes flight, it carries the legacy of generations and a renewed mission. This old warrior, reborn, stands ready to secure peace for another half-century.